Hello, my name is Moose Henderson and welcome to Photographer's Monday where we help you beat the Monday blues with various photography tips and techniques. Today we're going to go over how to manufacture your own ground pod for about ten dollars. So we'll be right back. Okay, in order to build a ground pod, all you need is a frying pan. Uh, I bought a set of two frying pans. I've got the handles off of these, but I got a set of two frying pans for about $15. The brand name is T-Fal, T-F-A-L. I'll put a link down in the show comments section on um, on where to purchase them. And as you can see, it's it's pretty simple. It has a screw in the bottom, a little riser block. Then I added the uh, Arca Switch bracket on here, and things like that. It's important when you're buying your frying pans to not buy a really expensive one. Probably also best not to steal one out of the kitchen. One of the reasons for that is you want a frying pan that has a removable handle. has a Phillips screw that goes into it and the handle comes off. So that makes it very easy to be able to adapt this into a ground pod. So what are the procedures? Well first you start off with your frying pan and you drill a hole in the center. It's a 3 8 inch hole basically just put it down upside down probably outside you don't want to have all the shavings from the metal and stuff on the inside and just drill straight down through the center with a 3 8 inch hole then through that hole you're going to stick a 3 8 inch bolt now there's a number of various different kinds of bolts you can get ones with hex heads you can get a carriage bolt stuff like that. What's going to be important is the length of the bolt and you may have to uh, think things through prior to buying the bolt or just go to the store and buy two or three of them of various lengths. I've got one that's relatively short I think it's one inch long and I think this one's maybe looks like it's maybe two inches long. So the bolt just goes into that 3 8 inch hole that you've drilled. And then I had to put a couple of washers on mine in order to make the height exactly right. So we've got those two washers on there. Then we've got a bolt, or a nut, excuse me, and we just screw the nut on. And then you want to tighten this nut down. You want to tighten it because you're going to be putting uh, your camera on here and you don't want to have it flexing or moving around. Uh, one piece of advice about the pans that you buy. The first set of pans I bought were a really cheap set from Wally World. I think the size like this was three dollars and ninety eight cents. It turned out to be complete junk because when I built my ground pod and put my camera on here the pan itself would flex on the bottom and stuff because it wasn't thick enough. Now, I like to have a uh, spacer block 
and so I just cut out of a piece of 2 by 4 by using a hole saw. I've got various size hole saws here. Uh, I think this one's probably inch and a half or so. If you don't have a hole saw, I'll bet somebody in your neighborhood does have one. And for uh, probably a trade of one of his favorite drinks, he'll cut you out a piece of wood like this. Another thing that I did was cut a little countersink down there for the nut that's in here so that this will screw all the way in. And then I took that same three-quarter inch drill and drilled it all the way through after I was done cutting it out with the hole saw. And then this slides or screws onto this same bolt And so you end up with a ground pod that looks like this. Now if you buy the two pan set, you'll be able to make a 10 inch ground pod and an 8 inch ground pod. And I find that the 10 inch ground pod works really well, uh, like on top of a bean bag, uh, on my car window. And the 8 inch ground pod works great like on the beach or something to slide along as I'm photographing with my long lens. Now on top of this bolt, I put an Arca Swiss clamp. Now you can pick up these Arca Swiss clamps pretty cheap on um, Amazon or, or B, 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 P and H. I think this particular one was $10 or something like that. And it would help if I didn't have the the smaller insert in here. There we go. Now it's going to screw on here. Like I say, this is just a standard 3 8 inch bolt. There. Now the bolt does project out the bottom, but for me that's not a problem because I'm either putting this on top of a bean bag or I'm putting this in, in beach sand or in snow or something like that. So having that project through the bottom a little bit like that is not a problem. Now my other ground pod, I have a smaller riser block. This riser block is only three quarters of an inch and this riser block is an inch and a half. And I have the two of them because I find that sometimes I want a very low riser and other times I want a little bit more riser. And since the two pans came as a set for $15, why not have a choice? On this 10 inch one, you can see I've mounted a longer uh, Arca Swiss bracket. And the reason I did that was to better support my 600 millimeter lens. Because when it goes on here, it has a very long foot there we go so you can see you could sit on the beach you could from the car you know be able to get behind your camera have your bean bag adjust it so that it's right at your height as you're sitting in the driver's seat without without having to hunch over at all. Makes it super simple. On a beach, by having this flare up like that, you're able to slide it along the beach and not get a bunch of sand in here. This is also large enough, the 10 inch one, to put like a 1.4 teleconverter or something like that inside here as you're, as you're sliding along the beach. That way if the bird is a little bit farther away and you need to put the 1.4 converter on here, you just slide it on there and off you go. As soon as you take it off, you can stick it back in here again and you're good to go. So, as I say, this is fairly easy to construct one of these. Uh, 
I think the total cost, not including the clamp on top, was about $15 to make two of these because I already had the whole saws. But if you don't have the whole saws, don't go out and buy them, especially for this. I'm sure someone in your neighborhood has whole saws that they had to use in order to build a door out of or something like that. And then the clamps that go on top, even if you buy a commercial ground pod, say a Naturescape Timber 2, which is right at 100 bucks, or the RRS Ecla, which I think is 120 bucks or so, those don't come with the Arca Swiss clamps either. So these ground pods that you're making, a set of two of them, $15, compares with a commercial one that you would pay a hundred dollars just for one. So uh, I give this a try. I have a more detailed set of instructions I will link to in the show comments and you're welcome to go take a look at those if you need more extensive instructions on how to put this together. The comments that I, excuse me, the book that I'm going to link to is a little tiny ebook. I think it's $2.99 on Amazon and it also has some instructions on how to use a ground pot on the beach and in the snow and the sand and things like that. So if you will, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button and I will see you again the next time.